Music acid test is a highly specific biochemical test used to detect the presence of the aldose monosaccharide galactose as well as galactose containing substances in a sample. Galactose and galactose containing compounds react with strong oxidizing agents such as concentrated nitric acid under conditions of high temperature to form an aldaric acid or dicarboxylic acid called mucic acid with the formula C6H10O8. Mucic acid is also known as galactaric acid or saccharic acid and the test is also sometimes known as galactaric acid test. Mucic acid forms a crystalline precipitate insoluble in alcohol and nearly insoluble in cold water. In the reaction, nitric acid fully oxidizes both the terminal hydroxyl and carbonyl groups of the open chain form of galactose into carboxyl groups. The structure now becomes a dicarboxylic acid known as mucic acid. Brown fumes of gaseous nitrogen dioxide gas is also produced as side product. Besides galactose, other monosaccharides are also oxidized by nitric acid to form galactaric acids. However, unlike the galactaric acid formed by galactose, which is insoluble, the acids formed by other monosaccharides are soluble and cannot be detected as precipitates. This makes the mucic acid test a specific test to distinguish the presence of galactose from other monosaccharide sugars. Lactose also gives a positive test because nitric acid first hydrolyzes the glycosidic bonds between the glucose and galactose units, after which it oxidizes the free galactose units into dicarboxylic acids. One significant disadvantage of the mucic acid test is that, as much as the mucic acid test is a specific test, it cannot differentiate between a monosaccharide galactose and a disaccharide which contains galactose units because it gives the same type of positive result with both types of sugars. In this video, we'll be performing the mucic acid test using a galactose containing carbohydrate sample and a galactose sample. To perform this test, we'll need the following. Concentrated nitric acid. Test samples consisting of 1% aqueous solutions each of galactose, lactose, any other carbohydrate sample that doesn't have a lactose or galactose in it, such as glucose. And finally, a controlled sample of distilled water. Four identical test tubes. A test tube stand four graduated droppers or pipettes of 5 or 10 ml capacities, one graduated pipette of 1 or 2 ml capacity with a pipette bulb, water bath. Take the four clean, dry and appropriately labeled test tubes and place them in the test tube stand. Using four different droppers or pipettes, add 5 ml each of galactose, lactose, glucose and distilled water to the test tubes. Now add 1 ml each of concentrated nitric acid to the four test tubes and mix them well by gently swirling the tubes for a few seconds each. Boil the test tubes in a well-ventilated area or under a fume hood until the volume of the contents in each tube has reduced to about 1 ml. You can also leave the tubes in a boiling water bath. During this time, brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide can be seen emanating from each tube when the contents have evaporated to about 1 ml. The fumes are toxic and should not be inhaled. Once the volume in each tube has evaporated to about 1 ml, remove the tubes from the water bath or from the flame and allow them to cool and remain at room temperature overnight. At the end of 12 to 24 hours, the formation of insoluble white crystals at the bottom of the tube indicates a positive result which means that the sample solution has galactose or its derivatives. In our experiment, tubes 1 and 2 show positive results since they contain galactose either as itself or as part of a more complex carbohydrate, in this case lactose. The absence of insoluble crystals indicates a negative test which means that the sample doesn't have galactose or its derivatives. 
Tube 3 contains a non-galactose carbohydrate and therefore gives a negative result. Tube 4 or the control as expected also shows a negative result. So this is all about the music acid test to identify galactose in a sample. Also make sure to watch my other biochemical test videos as well by clicking on the many links given in the description below. Thanks for watching.